Hello friends, this is Sukhwan Singh. Do you ever wonder that the doubts that creep into our minds, where do they come from? And the kind of reflection that, I, that we see around ourselves in the society, what is responsible behind those reflections? Let's try to view our doubts and reflections through two small anecdotes. The first one, there's a small story about a boy and the girl coming together in the park. The boy has uh, beautiful marbles with him and the girl has uh, delicious candies with her. So when they see each other and what they have in their hands, they decide to exchange. The boy says, I'll give you all my marbles in exchange of the candies that you have. The girl likes the idea and gives away all her candies and the boy gives away all his marbles except for one. He keeps one marble that he loved most with himself. That night, what happens? The girl goes home and has a nice, uh, comfortable sleep. The boy in his home is not able to sleep well because whole night he kept thinking that the girl to whom he had given away all his marbles must have also kept back a candy or two with her. Another small anecdote is regarding uh, a dog entering into a museum of mirrors. When he enters, he sees mirrors all around the wall, the ceilings, the floor. And what does he see in them? He sees many dogs staring at him. Somehow, it is said, he got locked inside the museum room and he, when he barked at the dogs, the bar, the, so many other dogs also barked back at him. When he snarled at them, they snarled back at him. And in the morning, when the gatekeeper of the museum opened the door, he found a tired dog lying there dead with so many other reflections of the tired dogs lying around quietly in the museum room. Now, what happened to these, uh, uh, the, the boy, the girl and the dog? The girl had a comfortable sleep because she had not kept back any of the candies with her. She had a clear conscience the boy in question was not able to sleep well because he had done something wrong himself and thought that the girl also must have done the same thing. So normally when we doubt a person, we are not doubting the other person's integrity, but we are doubting our own selves. We, we keep judging others as per our own standards. So let us raise our standards, let us look within and try to improve our own selves and then we will see people around us also in better, in better way. We'll start looking at their uh, good things because when we will try to reflect in ourselves and if we will find something good in ourselves, we'll see good in others too. The dog in question it was is, is an example of uh, what we give to the society, we get back. If we are giving back hatred, it will, that will all will all that we'll get is hatred from the society, from people around us, from the friends we have around us. And if we will spread love and respect, we will get love and respect from people around us. So I hope you 
uh, reflect on these uh, things and bring about a change and make the world a beautiful place to live in. Thank you.